That was funny. <laughs> How'd you think of that? <laughs> Blood? Are you doing anything that you said you wanted to do? I can't. Because of me? Yeah. Why because of me? Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Stephanie B, for those of you who are new here, AKA Umi. Okay, so I'm eating now. You guys, I made King some vegan eggs and some mushrooms. Happy Saturday, today is Saturday. I'm not sure what day I'm gonna post this. So, I'm just eating some strawberry yogurt. This morning I woke up and my stomach is not feeling too good. I went out last night to a restaurant and the food was amazing, amazing. But I don't know, have you guys ever felt like this before? You know when you're eating, you eat a lot. Like this week has been, excuse me, one of those weeks which I'm happy about and I'm thankful that I have the resources and the ability to eat so much. My throat, my jaw feels a little tight. I grind my teeth that night and I, I didn't wear my mouth guard last night because it doesn't happen every single night. So I woke up today and my jaw is just like super sore, the muscles in my neck. But also what I was saying before that, I don't know how comfortable y'all are talking about poop, but for those of you who are on my channel, I know a lot of y'all are moms and <laughs> as a mom, <laughs> poop is one of those topics that we should always be talking about, right? Is you talk about poop every day, especially if you have a child like mine at six, all he wants to do is talk about poop. And even if you're not a mom, you should really be talking about your poop, how it looks. Cause it can tell you so much. It can tell you so much. What's going on inside of your body, how things are working. So if you don't like talking about poop, Hopefully this conversation will inch your way in without triggering you too much. But when you eat all week or you're just doing such a great job eating and there's a line between destroying your stomach but also cleansing yourself, right? Like there's so much that I've eaten this week that I know that my upset stomach is like being purged almost, you know? Like it just, you can't fight it when you go the urge to go to the bathroom. Like you just cannot fight it. It's just like, Ooh. It was just, I think the the cherry on, on top, like it was just the icing on the cake that just like, boop, made my stomach just woo, release. So this morning I've just been releasing and I almost thought I wasn't even gonna get dressed to be honest. Cause I was like, okay, maybe it's gonna be one of those days when we just need to stay home and stay close to the bathroom, which has never happened for me, but new things every day, right, mom life. So today my plans are, y'all, we have been getting rid of so many things, spring cleaning, a lot of clothes and toys that King has grown out of. There's a consignment shop that's like an hour away and we're gonna take the drive to just bring everything there and see what they're willing to take and how much they're willing to take them for, which Ninja was just reminding me about when you take them to consignment shops, 
a lot of the times they give you a lower ball than what you should be offered for some of the things but let's see if the difference is with the quality of the toys and let's see if the difference is with kids stuff because we're used to we've only done that with places for us and not places that have toys for kids and we've never done that it's a completely different new ball game so i'm excited to see what they're willing to offer and i'm hoping that they'll just take everything but also i know that there's a few things that people wanted and i high key want to hold them but i also don't want my house to be the holding ground like i need everything that's not being used out of my house like right now <laughs> that's how i feel right now you ever go through that i know that there's like over time and i'm patient trust me but these things have over they've they've overstayed their welcome like they are looking for a new home i think that i've put enough ads and things online and tried to be a part of different thrifting apps but it just doesn't move as fast as i would like it to and then when people reach out there's always so many questions like it's a full-time job it's a job for people to do together and you do it when you're in the space to do it but with one person and i think we have like four bags of things that need to go it's very tricky keeping inventory like you guys know i have my own skincare soul care line and business but that will be it's like adding on another level to another level to mom life because we keep their inventory already so now we're keeping inventory of things that need to go that's a lot of inventory to keep so i'm definitely trying to unpack my brain and hopefully this helps so fingers crossed i dreamt so crazy last night how did you guys sleep how did you dream that's one of our favorite things to ask in the morning when we all wake up like what did you dream about tell us we just be so intrigued and i just woke up with this like sense this huge sense of peace and relief in my heart that no matter how performative our world gets i you never have to perform like just be yourself just be yourself and do what you feel is right no matter what it is and i know that sounds so basic but there's different levels and layers to it there's really different levels and layers of understanding and levels and layers of, of, of unlocking what it actually takes to to be in those spaces, right? Because we have so many things that are telling us otherwise. We have so many platforms that are asking of us to show up as different people. And the question is, can you? Yes. Should you? Not if you don't want to. And that's the beauty, one of the beauties of being human. I've just been putting a lot of words a lot of feelings into words lately per usual but these days i don't know if it's 30 but it hits much different it just hits so different and it's just like i feel like i'm wrapping my life in a bow a pretty bow i'm enjoying it and i think i just came out of quiet season granted i'm here and i talk and i process but there's a lot that i keep to myself which anyone should like there's a lot that you should keep to yourself there's you do that to each his or her own everybody's designed different i'm a cancer sun taurus moon and a virgo rising and my taurus moon we keep a lot to ourselves for one we enjoy being in the space of mystery and two i just strongly believe that not everybody needs to know everything about you y'all included There are some things that you can keep to yourself and i think that the internet these days we're we're learning where to draw the line and people are learning how comfortable they are with sharing parts of themselves i for sure have learned that and will continue learning it this year was <laughs> definitely the last few years but especially this year has showed me a lot of confirmation and has just shown me how to value what I do have to share because some people value it, but they don't value me, right? So learning the difference between that, like people who value you or people who just who value the information that you have, which is okay, but 
when you don't know the difference, it can definitely send you into a different space or just have you involved around people that you have no business being around. <laughs> so King doesn't want to leave the house. He is a Taurus moon as well. We love staying home. We're such homebodies. But let's figure out what's stopping him from leaving the house. Let's do it together. Disclosure, I'm not a fan of folks posting children in super vulnerable moments when they're crying or when they're feeling super helpless this is not one of those moments he is not crying crying although you can you can hear the worry in his voice but he is not crying and for those of you who don't know i don't show king on social media because that's not what i'm comfortable with so this is the most that i will give you a peek in so let's do this together okay i'm here to talk What would you like to tell me? Well, I would like to tell you that I don't want to go. I want to chill. I finish something or maybe chill. But why can't we go there tomorrow? That's a good question. Why can't we go there tomorrow? And I understand, buddy. There's some days that I just really want to lay down and chill. And I don't want to go outside. We've had a few days this week like that, right? No, yeah. Only one day. Only one day. Yesterday we didn't do that, but what's today? Today's Saturday. So f Thursday we just chilled and had a day in. How about this? If you get all dressed and we make it there, it's oh, it's not even one o'clock yet. The day has started, but the day is not over. If we make it there soon then we'll be able to come back home and just chill mommy really wants to get rid of these bags of your toys and i really am excited to see how much money you sell from all your things and i just don't want to go i don't care i have enough money i have lots of money i don't care i don't want to go i know and i understand I don't really have yeah, thank you for telling me that, buddy. Uh, you do have 100 pieces of money. You have so much money. You're rich, huh? I am. You so are. We could just, so we could just use that money. We absolutely can use that money. But that's only one of the pieces of why mommy wants to really head there. If you look on the floor, you see that there's four really big bags. And those bags, what do you think that they're doing when they're just sitting around the house? waiting to be given away so they also take up space right and our house we have a big house but it's important for us so that we can make sure that things that are waiting to be given away that they get to where they're going okay but i can't go if i go if i go then what am i gonna do in the car i'm not sure what will you do in the car that's for you to decide. But, but there's nothing to do in the car. Really? Mm -hmm. Nothing at all? Yeah. Okay. And I don't want to do nothing at all. Okay. Well, what do you feel like doing? Playing Teddy. What do you feel like doing in the car? Playing video games. Okay. So you can do that in the car. Is that the only reason, that's the only thing that's stopping you from going? Yeah. Okay. So you can play video games in the car. That's not a problem. But just not what? Just not Pokemon Go. Because the, the today's not after tomorrow. Right. Okay. But today, we played Pokemon Go yesterday. That's right. So, guess what? What? Tomorrow, I get to play Pokemon Go. That's right. High five. Good memory. And Shay's coming, so good thing. Good thing Shay's coming. Good thing. Okay. So can you get dressed? And I'm gonna pack you a snack. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Can we? But, can I have a hug? I want a hug. But, but I well, if I play video games in the car, I might, I might kind, I might, I might kind of, I might kind of try to. 
You might have to try to lobby if you want. Like, my toy can walk down the line with us. So you can watch something on the way? No, like Sonic Boom. Because I want to watch Sonic Boom, and I have to long in, and on my phone, I have to log in for Hulu. Okay, that's not a problem. Alright. Okay. And I never ever logged into it in a long time, so I deleted it, but I can download it. Okay, yeah. All right, so all you have to So we're in the car. I'm waiting for King. He's just playing in the dirt real quick before we drive off. I carried four huge bags into the car. Highly do not recommend. Highly ghetto. Extremely ghetto. Just, what's that? Just not for the birds. I had to stand there and look at my stove and, yes, baby, take a picture of it so that... Y'all, I haven't seen a Hobby Lobby they since I lived in Idaho. They they Look at Chuck E. Cheese is right next to the soil we're going to. We're in New Hampshire right now. So. We're in New Hampshire? Yeah, we're in New Hampshire. But that's where Uncle Boys live. We can go stay. We can go stop. We can go stop and say hi to Uncle. We can go stop and say hi. Yeah, you want to stop and say hi? We have four bags, y'all. Yeah. But King just knocked the camera. <laughs> but I'm only bringing one in right now because I really need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> This is Chuck E. Cheese in New Hampshire, y'all. It's so big. Woo. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, man. I've never. What? Only buy tickets. What? Our favorite. Good job, buddy. All right, so I just stopped at Panera. Now we're heading to one of King's favorite auntie and uncle's house in New Hampshire that he was saying he wanted to go see. And I promise I will update y'all in the consignment shop next video. Thank you for watching.